New York City, Carolina Kovalkiewicz and Silvana Gomez Juarez, both 37 years of age, both five foot three inches tall. Both came in half a pound below the straw weight limit of 116 pounds. One inch reach advantage for the Argentine, Silvana Gomez Juarez. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a striker holding a professional record, 11 wins, four losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Tucumán, Argentina, Silvana La Melvada Gomez. Juarez! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a big martial artist holding a professional record. 13 wins, 7 losses. She stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 115 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of Woods Poland, Carolina Kovacavich! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mark Goddard. Mark Goddard is our referee. He will also handle the main event later tonight between Israel Adesanya and Alex Pereira. Luciana Andrade with us tonight in New York City. Ariane Brittany, Brooklyn also on hand. Great to have you with us. Don't forget, prelim coverage continues on ESPN News and right here on ESPN Plus next hour, 8 p.m. Eastern, before we head over to pay-per-view at 10. Carolina Kovalkiewicz is in red. Silvana Gomez Juarez is in white. This is a pick em fight. Minus 110 at close on both sides. Fast jab on display early from Gomez Juarez. She'll keep popping that jab, trying to draw you in. And it, there, there it is. Then she throws the overhand right. That's the one thing about getting a knockout like she got in her last fight. You may fall in love with the idea that you can recreate that. She's got to stay true to herself. Combination punches, very patient, taking her openings when they present themselves. And for Kovalkiewicz, she's got to get on the kicks. A lot of movement by Juarez Gomez, or Gomez Juarez. So you got to kick him to try to slow him down. Oh, nice takedown. On the neck, look at this. Both hooks right away. And again, Gomez Juarez's first two losses in the UFC were by submission. So for Carolina to get her in this position this early is very good for her. She's got the body triangle. She's got the back with the body triangle. And Gomez Juarez is in a tough situation here. Kovalkiewicz operating right in front of her jiu-jitsu coach, Pahumpa. Gomez Juarez is doing a really good job of attacking that hand, trying to keep that choke hand controlled. Kovalkiewicz, if she can, try to re-grip. Use her left hand to re-grip and clear her right hand. And then she can start to attack the choke or threaten the choke on Juarez Gomez. Also, if she lets go of this body triangle, and she just did, she could use her right leg to she try to capture. To, yeah. She tried to do it right there. Capture that arm. Hey, how strong must she be, Gomez? Because Kovacavich's arm is all the way back by her head, and Gomez is holding it with one hand. Yeah. Well, Kovacavich is now moving to an arm triangle possibility here. Back to the back again. Beautiful flow by Kovalkiewicz. I like how she, she gave herself some options there. Yeah. She's not re-gripping effectively, though. Well, she's having a hard time getting that arm free. Clear, yeah. Her. She's got to use her hands to distract Juarez Gomez. Yeah. Or Gomez Juarez, my. Why well, I keep saying this wrong? <laughs> One of her parents probably happy to get that reverse. Yeah. Huh. DC, what kind of factor is the fence here for Carolina? It's, it's, it's a problem. Carolina can't take full back control because Gomez Juarez keeps turning her and using the fence to try to scrape. Oh, oh, she might be under the net now. It looks like she's on the chin. Yep. Something's up from where we're looking at it here. Oh, okay. 
Gomez Juarez is doing a very good job of controlling that choking arm. I mean, very smart defensively. Yep. Look, when you lose your first two fights in the UFC by submission, that's the first thing you're going to tighten up is your defense. Right. And this right here will allow for her to maybe find that choke. Punches. She's got to put some damage on Gomez Juarez. 90 seconds to go in the round. Gomez Juarez has never seen is. a second round in her UFC career. She's got to capture that right arm with her right leg. She's been thinking about doing it. She thought about doing it earlier. It really would help her. Just push down on that, get that right leg into play, and have far less to deal with, especially now with only a minute left. She's dominated the round. Yep. She's held dominant position for a long time. Take that chance. Coach Dean Thomas with us all night. What do you have, sir? which is doing a good job of adding some strikes in there because what you don't want to do is you don't want to put so much investment into the submission that you don't get it and at the end of the round your opponent's not hurt so you want to make sure that you at least let them have something to think about the next time they come out in the next round if they're able to get out of this round Salient point as usual, north of three minutes of ground control time for Kovalkiewicz in round one. What I'm seeing here, though, is good defense by Gomez Juarez, but a domination yeah. in, in terms of, like, grappling ability by Kovalkiewicz. She seems, like, quite a bit better on the ground. And if you're Kovalkiewicz, you want to get back to this position. Yes. You want to get back to the right wrestling away. right away. All right, so at the 22nd mark, Gomez Juarez is back upright. And Kovacavich is cracked through the jab. Strong start for Poland's Kovacavich will stay here. Sit down, Silvana, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, let her sit down, come on. Let's, let's breathe a little bit, okay. okay, everything okay? Listen, how's your mouthpiece, all right, listen, Silvana. Listen, do not kick her, okay, look at this, listen, okay, from the body up, okay, you need to start striking a little bit, you have to have a little, you have to have a little more confidence, one error and you're going to get her. Right here you see... Kovalkiewicz catching that outside kick, driving forward pressure into her, knocking her down. And when she got back to her feet, she lands a really good jab, also gets her head off the center line, so she doesn't take one in return. Great first round. It is tonight. It is live on pay-per-view. The middleweight champ Israel Adesanya set to trade blows with fellow world-class striker Alex Pereira, also Zhang Wei Li, trying to regain the strawweight throne. She takes on the two-time champ, Carla Esparza. Poirier and Chandler also under the lights. UFC 281 available for purchase right now on ESPN+. Plus. All right, so the narrative of round one, two takedowns for Karolina Kovalkiewicz. That is a new career high. She came in tonight with just two total takedowns secured in her previous 13 UFC appearances. Well, she's a striker, right? But that one just presented itself to her. Pahupa trying to turn her into a wrestler slash grab. And that's one of those areas where even as a longtime veteran, you can still improve. When you're as talented a striker as she is, you start adding the wrestling, you become a real problem. And Joe referenced Kovalkiewicz's strength of schedule, right? There have been some pitfalls, some ups and downs, but you can't overstate how valuable that is. She's been in there fighting for the world title. She's fought most of the top 15. Yeah, she has a massive resume. I mean, if you really look at all the world-class talent that she's experienced inside the octagon, it's a giant advantage. Well, and that's why, Joe, she at one point had lost five fights in a row. People, you get cut doing that. Right. When you fight the level she's fought, there's a bit of a longer leash for you. Yes. I'm being told through our great interpreter that Silvana Gomez Juarez's corner is furious that she is retreating and not taking the center of the octagon, so take that for what it's worth. There it is. She's looking oh, for it again. Yep, she yeah. went to try to get that level change. Juarez Gomez, Gomez Juarez did a great job of circling away and getting her back, back to the center. Kovalkiewicz looks pretty fast, pretty fluid, moving well. Problem is she's closing her eyes, so when yeah. she darts forward, when she closes her eyes to level change because it's unfamiliar, Gomez Juarez just circles off. She's got to keep her eyes open. There it is. You see that? Every yeah. time she does that blitz, she closes her eyes. Go one, 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 go one,
now I'm looking for it. I know, I'm not even talking. <laughs> It's when she tries to put her punches together. Well, Gomez Juarez, is in, in now in her mind, is doing everything to avoid this fight going to the ground again. She landed a good right hand. Yes, she did. That was a big right hand. But she is now very aware that she has had a distinct disadvantage if this fight goes to the ground. Longest fight of Gomez Juarez's career, and by a significant margin here, the UFC at least had eight minutes and one second of total octagon time coming in tonight. In three fights. Yep. Yeah, she was a she was a killer be killed, you know. Like, not really going long. But right now, this is a good bounce back round for her. Her activity with her hands is allowing and confusing Kovalevich. But she's not committing to a lot of these punches. There she did. But some of them, she's throwing like a half extension. Yeah. Almost like she's worried about the shot. Well, she's worried about the shot. She knows that she can't get taken down. But even that, right, Joe, like the fact that she threw that left hook right hand, mm -hmm. it does just enough to back Carolina off, and then she gets back to the center of the octagon. Yeah. So, oh, nice right hand by right right Kovalev. Yep. Perhaps her most significant land of the fight under 90 seconds oh, in round two. Oh, yeah. right hand. Good short connection by Gomez Juarez. Jab is there for Kovalevich. Now right hand from Gomez Juarez. That jab of Kovalevich is working, man. Looks good tonight. Under a minute to go in the round. Gomez Juarez, though, she's really starting to set down on her punches. And they're landing. She just can only do that, though, when she's out in the center. If she tries to set on a coin and really throw an impact against the side of the octagon, Carolina will drive into it to try to take her down. So nary a takedown attempt here in this second round thus far for Kovalevich. There's a good right hand. He's being more aggressive now towards the end of the round, knowing this is a very close round. Good knee by Kovalevich. <laughs> Gomez Juarez just out of range. Oh. Let's take a look at some of the action here. There's a nice right hand by Gomez Juarez. And here's a good right hand by Kovalevich. And a solid jab by Carolina. It's 1-1. One, one. You need to win this last round. Yes. Okay? 1-C is working all the time. Okay. You can do 1 and C or, or 1 to the body and C. Okay? Don't need to shoot from far. Get her on the cage and then go for a single leg. Yes. Okay? It's deep. You want two, one, two, three. Ella está toda golpeada. Ya la lastimaste dos veces. She's taking some punches, okay? Listen, sí. you need to hit more. Sí. Listen, sí. listen. Sí. you have to get in really hard sí. and prepare your right. Es mental. Okay, it's es mental, mental right now. It's mental, mental right now. Okay. You want to win? Do you want to win? I want to win. Okay, so go for it, okay? Let's go. It's for her. The UFC Fight Pass Invitational set to return December 15th with an eight-man submission grappling tournament for a $25,000 grand prize. Also, individual matches featuring former UFC champ Misha Tate and five-time ADCC world champ Gordon Ryan. You can watch exclusively on UFC Fight Pass. Sign up today. All right, anybody's fight. Nice job by both corners. Pahumpa there for Carolina Kovalevich and Raul Arvisa for Silvana Gomez Suarez. DC Kovalevich corner. They want the fence and they want a single. Yeah, and they wanted to stop shooting from so far. They wanted to get close and then level change. Whereas Go Gomez Suarez corner wants him to throw more right hands, land it, telling that it's all mental. Well, Gomez Juarez certainly looks like she's picked up the activity at the beginning of this round. And to say she's never fought a long fight, she's in great shape. She's not tired, and she's still throwing at the same pace. But 
Kovalkiewicz needs to get this fight to the ground. If she wants to win this fight, she has got to have a takedown this round because I feel if she gets a takedown, it's going to take Gomez Juarez so long to get back up. She'll put money in the bank and maybe secure this round. Gomez Juarez did go into a fourth round with Poliana Botelho way back in 2015, but as we mentioned, not at all long on UFC experience nor octagon time. One minute gone by round two, round three. She's Nice jab by yeah. Kovalkiewicz. Oh. Carolina's really landing that jab. And another one there. And another one. But she's got to mix it up with the takedown attempts. Well, because she's throwing one. She's landing the big jab, and Gomez Juarez throws combinations. And even if they may not all land, when you're watching the visual, you see her just putting so much activity out there. Gomez Juarez has done quite well when she's gone to the body. Now that big right hand. That right hand might have hurt her. Kovalkiewicz with some definite swelling under that left eye. Anybody's fight, three minutes to go. Oh, nice stick there by Gomez Juarez. There's that right hand again. Perhaps some body shots would be useful for La Malvada. There it is. That, that's yeah. more about Global Cave. If she didn't commit to it. Well, because now, as a wrestler, right, or if you need a wrestler, Gomez Juarez is really throwing, and she's throwing combination. Yeah. That's when you level change. Just not sure if Kovalkiewicz has the explosion. We'll see. Just no, over two doesn't. minutes to go. She does the J.A. She doesn't have that ability, and it's all just too new still. Right. She, everything needs to work in order to try to get takedowns, opposed to being able to remix it and, and just kind of flow into takedowns. That's well put. She also has this thing that she does when she pushes forward. When she gets caught, she stiffens up. Yep. She stiffens up, she straightens up, and she backs up with her hands. And that may be due to some of the big fights, right? The Andrade and all those, all the damage she's taken over yes. the course of her career. Yes. Andrade, I think that was in New York City where she put her out, right? Was yes. that in New York City? I think it was. That was a brutal, brutal knockout. Yeah. Oh. A lot of miles. But she's fighting very brave. She's not giving up on herself. But right now, as the fight's going longer, Gomez Warren has kind of gotten out ahead of her. At least in my opinion. Oh, nice knee to the body by Kovalkiewicz. Gomez Juarez whiffs on a big right hand. Significant strike numbers if you care. Pretty even, 77-73 for Gomez. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is, John. No. That's, that's what she moment. needed. Oh, that's my a, God. Oh, that's what, that's what Carolina needed. Oh, she might not be able to take advantage oh, of it. Oh, she did not hold her down. Wow, she's so tired. She wasn't able to capitalize on it. And nice urgency by Gomez Juarez. Fights for the underhook and now has Kovalkiewicz's back up against the fence. Yeah, Kovalkiewicz, it looked like she was going for a hip toss, like she was hitting that whizzer. Yeah, she was losing her balance, but you do not want to be falling down when someone's throwing punches at you yeah. in a close fight in the third round. Well, I mean, very fortunate for her that Carolina wasn't able to capitalize, but now Carolina's going after her. Still, the judges are going to look at yeah. that like she was in a disadvantageous position. They're going to think she got knocked down, maybe, yeah. because she was going backwards and fell. Nice sequence there for the Argentine. And another nice showcase for the UFC women's strawweight division. Back and forth affair between Silvana Gomez Juarez and Carolina Kovalkiewicz. First time Gomez Juarez goes to a decision in the UFC and first time overall since 2019. We'll re-rack some highlights from that third and final round. Right here you see the jab of Kovalkiewicz early. She was pressuring, little out, little kick, then a, over, a right hand by Kovalkiewicz. Some good combination by Juarez, Go, Gomez Juarez. Lands that big overhand right. Beautiful jab lands. 
by Kovalkiewicz. Then there you see the trip by Carolina to get top position. Silvana gets right back to her feet. Very tough fight to judge. So Kovalkiewicz had those two takedowns in round one. No attempts thereafter. Significant strikes. Gomez Juarez threw nearly 50 more, but landed three less. Kovalkiewicz landing at 38%. Silvana Gomez Juarez landing 30%. Close fight, very close nice fight. And both women came in riding a winning streak tonight. I mean, my man Buff taking his sweet time right now. Well, he's still waiting. I mean, does he have the cards? I mean, he does have the cards. Okay, there he is. Know, now we're Buff's on Buff's coming. clock tonight, right? Yeah, we, New York City, I mean, it's Buff's We live in his world. That's right. They just told him tonight they want to hear him roar. He said, I'm going to let him oh, have it. Oh, is that what he said? Yeah, I'm going to let him have it. <laughs> oh, we'll see the extent to which he roars with this decision, but it does appear that Bruce... Oh, 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 Wait, hang on a second, Lappy. Looks as though a commissioner has just come in, and perhaps some change is being made. That's our producer, Michael LaPlante, oh if you're goodness. wondering. But what is happening? Just as I was to throw it to Bruce for the official decision, I, I'm not sure I've seen this before. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? Oh, my goodness, they're flipping it. Oh, my goodness, they're flipping the scorecard. And somebody is going <laughs> to screen grab that and uh, blow it up for everyone to see. I have never in my life seen this. Arithmetic. Oh my goodness. Oh, somebody's gonna be really mad. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> somebody's gonna be, really, gonna be really, really mad. Upset. I mean, some people do, you know, wage what on this stuff too. What in the world? All right, so perhaps we will get some sort of explanation. Oh my goodness. Now Buff is like, wait, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Buff's like, you want me to say this now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Could you imagine the feeling that these two women are feeling in this octagon right now? Oh, this is wild. The uncertainty that is in their minds after a fantastic fight. Great showcase by both of them. This is absolutely wild. I have never in my life Let him hear it, folks. Let him hear it. Right? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I have never in my life. I've never in my life seen this. Oh, my goodness. All right. All right, for the official decision, here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest, 29-28, for the winner by unanimous decision, Carolina Kovacavich.